to the channel. We just got done installing the Motor Guide XI3 bow mount trolling motor on my 11.5 Perception Outlaw. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little setup. Turned out pretty good. You're able to launch everything from the seat the way we ran it with the pull handle here. It's, it's attached up there to the foot lever where you normally mash with your foot. Guys, yeah, you just better pull it from the seat. We got a rope here. Kind of kick it off here. Have your rope in your hand. Let it down easy. Guys, yeah, we didn't get the one with the GPS. I didn't really need it for my kayak, but uh, it's just got the co-pilot there. super sturdy kayak so I believe I'll be able to stand up and if we're doing some bass fishing I believe I'll be able to stand up and bass fish pretty well. Like I said we took and uh, I ordered a motor guide trailer motor stop off Amazon and just took and tied my rope with a uni knot it'll fit perfectly in between there. I did add a locking nut over there just for a little extra security but yeah, as you can take a loop that rope right over the top there. You got to pull your handle here. It'll press your lever. You can pull it right back in. Pretty sweet. We did add the uh, quick release, Motor Guide Series quick release. If you come over here, it's, uh, it's just got the slide pin in it. It latches into place here. Just pop that out and get rid of it. Take her off. It's wired into a trolling motor plug here. And everything's removable. That's how we attached our foot lever. We drilled a hole there. Ran our power cord through. It's just a tight, attached to a clip. And I took a two inch stainless steel eyelet, three sixteenths, and drilled a hole through. Guys, yeah, I kind of learned from my mistake there. I originally went through the center of it there. There's two different slots where you could put a hole, one through the center, one on the edge. Guys, yeah, it seemed to pull a little easier on this one out here on the edge. You gotta unhook it first. We did have to modify some bracket. Like I said, we took two polygranite cutting boards from Walmart. Guys, it takes two of them stacked together to be able to get up high enough for this slide pin. I'm going to use your quick release. It does give you just enough clearance to go with two of them. It's perfect, actually. Guys, this kayak's got the molded handle. So we didn't want to really drill through the handle. You can't get your hands to bolts or anything. We did do one in the center that I went with a well nut right there just for a little extra support. And then I took my two front screws. These are just inch and a quarter so they don't go through nothing. Just regular screws, stainless steel, go into the cutting boards. We added these two and I drilled and countersunk them. If you look underneath, 
they're just going through the cutting boards as well they're not into your handle and then guys the these other five that we added here one two three four and five they're going through the hole with a fender washer and a nut on the back side that's why we in the previous video we added our deck hatches we put a four inch deck hatch here it's tight christian's arm was small enough to be able to reach in there and hold the back side of everything for me when we tighten those down four inch deck plate here and five inch here and that'll allow your access to do all your wiring for your quick release plug-ins on your trailer motor and your battery inch and eighth hole silicone eight gauge wire fish it through you know use your hands in here to fish the wire through as we come back here to the trailer motor plug as well with that eight gauge wire from up there just plug to plug two wires in there is all it's gonna stay on the boat we did a 50 amp resettable breaker straight to our battery here in our battery box Guys, that's pretty much about all they are to it. Like I said, you're, we went with a small hole here, just slightly bigger than our power cord. Got our handle tied on there. It runs through and back up to here. This detaches there with a smaller clip. That allow you to pull your foot lever. it does eh? it does add a little weight to the front so with that being said we're going to run a, a full size marina battery and just kind of balance everything out good of course full size deep cycle marina battery Yeah, like I said, that's basically it. Things pretty quick, easy to take on and off. Like I said, we fish a we fish a shallow river for trout in the summertime over here where we live, and uh, I don't really need it for that. So I wanted everything to be able to come off of it. It's the only we didn't really add no weight to it the only thing that's going to be left you know the, the bracket that we made will stay and just the wiring guys and it's pretty much stripped back down to basically what it weighed before it guys so if y'all have any questions side y'all want to do y'all want or anything we'll be more than glad to answer them just drop us a comment appreciate y'all guys